Assumable debt is existing debt that can be assumed by a new owner of the asset or the building. If you're a buyer, I'm a seller, and I have a mortgage on the building, and it's an assumable mortgage, assumable debt, I can sell you the building, and you can assume, step into my shoes as if you're the borrower now, because you will be the borrower, yeah. and just take over that existing debt until it expires according to the, the terms and conditions under the mortgage note that's in place today. Mm. People like that because debt that was put on buildings earlier was high twos, low threes, high threes, 4%. Now, if you were to go out into the marketplace and source debt for a multifamily acquisition, you'd be paying uh, six and a half percent. Yeah. So, of course, as a buyer, I'd be far more interested in being able to buy your building with debt that's already on the books that's at three and a half percent than at six and a half percent, which is what I would get today if I had to shop it. The same is what's chilling the housing market, George. Sellers are reluctant to sell because if they sell, they have to then go back out to the market at a way higher rate. Now, we're getting mortgages today that are not assumable. Banks are starting to cease offering assumability as a feature of their right. loans. You really have to ask the right questions and figure out if the building you're going after has existing debt and if that debt is in fact assumable. If it is, it may make it a whole lot easier for you to get it.